another Killer Planes video. If Marilyn were a wing, she would have looked like this. See that? Never mind. What you got there, Stevie? It's a jet wing. Hey there, Steve from Killer Planes with the Tech One Jet, jet wing. wing. Yes, we're selling this at Killer Planes with reinforcement, of course. It's a cute little thing. Just wing, no fuselage, got some tail fins, no rudders, just elevans. They're so clever when they name these things, don't you think? I do. How come they didn't call it an ailerator? And some upturned tips. We reinforced these along with everything else that we could find that was sticking out, all tips of foam and everything. So this has a really nice reinforcement kit and some armor plating if you want to go this route on the bottom. I do. So this is a quadruple piece skid plate. And we're going to armor up the fronts of these too. So we have a video. We're going to show you how to embed a carbon fiber rod in your leading edge. You can do it easily and it's really worth it because if you're going to be belly landing on stuff like other than perfectly mowed lawn, weeds and stuff, you will be uh, surprised if you don't know already how much they dent up the leading edge of your wing. So carbon fiber rod in there with some tape holding it in place. Well, the glue holds it in place. The tape makes it all smooth. We're talking can't dent it with grass. I'll tell you that much. So let's put this baby up and see how it flies. Theoretically, it's balanced. Okay. You check your surfaces. You know, that's a good idea. It's always left, a good idea to left, check your surfaces. Right. Here we go. All right, I guess the surface is checked out. I don't know. Either that or he just lost patience. She looks cool up there. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Pretty cool. How fun is that? And it's got plenty of thrust. It's a big wing. It's like a UFO. It is. We're going to get UFO reports over Gardner today. Pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the funny thing is I expected it to roll fast. And it's got a gentle roll characteristic. So, well, actually, let's go fast. And then here's the speed of the roll. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I guess because it's flat. There's a lot of wing area. I'm yeah. holding the nose down now. Wants to climb. You know what? We could put a way bigger battery in this. Uh, <laughs> magic words. Uh, this has got extra nose weight in it according to their center of gravity and it just wanted to climb. So I would say an even bigger battery. Yeah, so we'll have to hollow this out just a little bit on the inside of the cover to be able to fit a four cell. That'll give us more weight and more speed at the same time. How I love it. Fast, fast, look at her go. Yeah, man. Fast, fast, look at her go. Yeah, man. Yeah. Ooh. Pretty amazing. That's That's got some thrust. Well, then again, there's, there's no fuselage to be creating drag, so, you know, it's gonna move. It's just a wing. It's just a wing. Nothing but wing. And you know, it's very, very steady. I gotta say. Cool. <laughs> Using another one of my Steve common signature phrases. It's very steady. It moves in a really steady way, which would make it a great FPV platform. And for the fact that even balanced the way they say it's supposed to be, it wants to climb. You could add a bunch of weight in the nose with a camera, especially our, that HD video camera, the half egg. Ooh. It's very small and light. So. I have, what, how much throttle? No, I had about three quarter throttle. I guess you don't have to worry about a timer with this one since it belly lands. Big time. And you could glide in with those wings. Let's, let's test the glide, okay? So this is power off. Nice. Now these babies uh, hold a lot of lights, huh? Oh yeah. Except for they're think of that. except for they're kind of loud for at night, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. But that's okay. It would sound like 
If you don't have to do silent night flying. If you could do like this. We'd sound like a UFO, right? <laughs> yeah, and look like one with the lights on. Oh, there's your That's timer. The timer. So it's still going on strong after four minutes. No, it's slowing down. I can hear it. Oh. Okay, now it's slowing down. There we go. All right, so we got a four-minute flight out of a 2200 battery tooling around. It kind of looks like that stealth plane because it's so flat. I don't think I cut my power much during that flight. No, I don't think you did either. Not a glide. Where are you going there? Just gliding, Solo. gliding, gliding. <laughs> nice landing, though. Here's the trick. You embed a lot of carbon fiber in this baby, and it's going to last maybe, I don't know, four or five times longer. So it's like buying four or five of the things. Also, here's the, here's the really important thing. When you have a plane that's really hard to break, you have a little crash, plane doesn't break, you keep flying instead of going home to fix stuff. Whoa, whoopsie! Not Whoa. the best throw. Well, what'd you catch on? My head. Ooh, clunk. Definitely strange. So you're gonna learn something on your Saturday morning. You'll either stay at the field and learn to fly, or you go home and learn to fix planes. Which one do you want to do? I want to learn to fly, personally. Well, there's a crash proofing test. I, I hit myself in the back of the head with the thing. I was holding it down here. <laughs> Warning. <laughs> Remember, this is a little broader than a hawk. So you have to pick it up over your head, Steve. There you go. This is a 20C battery. The other one was a 25. Okay. Looks like it's still got a lot of power anyway. I'm not seeing much difference. Are you feeling much difference? Yeah, it's slower. Hmm, I think loop to do. Well, that's as tight as a loop. Wow. Well. But it does a very, very straight loop. <laughs> Okay, so, you know something? As a beginner plane, I would say that this wouldn't be a bad idea. I just hit it on my head and dove it into the ground, and with the crash proofing kit, just absolutely nothing happened to it. There's nothing to break, and look how steadily this flies at a low speed. Very, very steady. Very, cool. very steady. Of course, there's no wind out here now, but still. Yeah, wind might take this guy because it's so flat. I would say this is actually a good beginner plane. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as you get it up in the air, you have to get it up there, which means nail it and climb out. But then... Maybe you have somebody throw it for you. Yeah. I'm a big fella. I have a big arm. But... I don't know if you can, I mean, I, I can actually kind of see that it's steady as well as flying it. It looks steady to me. Okay, this is a good beginner plane. All right. Very, very good beginner plane. I crashed it already right into the nose and it's held up really the well. Crash like proofing kit, zero damage. It even rolled around, right, didn't it, on the wing Yeah, tips? it hit a wing. Whoa, whoopsie! Not Whoa. the best one. We got reinforcement right out to the tips here. Zero damage. Very easy to fly. Very steady. Very easy to trim. And there it is. Jet wing man from Tech One. We're selling these at Killer Planes with the reinforcement kit. You saw it rolling around. Definitely works. Get yours today at KillerPlanes.com. Sexy for my wings.